Uh, welcome back again. And uh, someone asked me a question regarding the expired residence permits in Qatar. Yes, what you need to know that um, that it is always advisable if you are living in Qatar to renew your residence permit or what you call your QID three months prior to your ex expiration date. By the way, the question is, do you normally check the expiry date of your QID? Or residence permit, do you normally request your sponsor to renew your ID in time? Yes, that is a shared responsibility between me and you, the person holding that residence permit, because it is the only way that permits you to stay in the country. For those that are here, or for those that are in these Gulf countries, if you're in Saudi Arabia, UAE, you'll definitely agree with me that that ID you hold is everything. It's your information, your passport, your everything, including what you call the transactions in one or the other. So when you look at expired QID, normally it is always advisable to renew the QID three months prior to its expiry date. However, something that definitely you also need to understand or something that you need to know that once this QID, or once this residence permit is expired or once it has reached its expiry date, Normally companies or normally companies and individuals are normally given what you call a grace period of three months to renew. So you have three months in advance for you to renew the residence permit. I'm talking about those people that are in the country, not those people that are living outside the country. If you are outside the country, they can only renew your residence permit inside the country, either by your sponsor or the PRO of that company. So what happens if the grace period that is being given to you after its expiry is off? We are talking about the three months. So definitely you will have to start paying what you call an overstay because at that time you will have started overstaying what you call your visa. Normally what happens this is something, this is the cost. Normally the cost goes to the sponsor in case is the one responsible for renewing this QID or not renew the QID. So he'll have to pay what you call the penalty in one way or the other. For those people that have what you call freelancer's visa, the freelancer visa is a visa that can be bought from another company, but not using that company as an employer, but you look for job to another employer in one way so what happened is that in case you are a freelancer then definitely you have to you have to request the person who gave you that visa to renew the qid for you otherwise it will be marked with what is called the start of or an overstay fee which you must pay or an overstay p fee that you'll be paying every every month at what tenny real at the end of of it all. So hope I've tried to share something for you regarding to what you call an expired, expired residence permit and what you should do or what you should know about the expired residence permit in Qatar. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we try to look at most of these questions, get to one one by one and trying to give more of the in light or what you call an insight. If you are living in Qatar or if you are going to live in Qatar, what you should definitely know. Thank you so much. It's always Max from the Max Creation giving all these updates. Thank you so much. See you again in the next